Hey everybody, welcome back to our vlog channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. I feel like it has been a very long time since I have sat down on this channel and updated you guys on exactly what is going on in my life and everything of that nature. It's been at least like a month, month and a half since our last vlog on this channel. I did attempt to go live the other day and it did not go well at all. I think I was live for maybe like 10, 15 minutes and the internet connection started acting up. So it wasn't exactly what I planned on, but how is everyone? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are enjoying fall. It is October 1st and it's actually feeling like fall outside in Florida. It is breezy, the leaves are falling. I'm not exactly sure if they are changing colors because I really haven't looked at them that much, but it feels nice outside. It is not like a swamp. I mean, a few weeks ago here in Florida, it was awful with the humidity. I remember when we got off the plane from Nevada back to Florida and the humidity was just like immediately you walked outside, it was complete swamp ass. You guys, if you're from the South, you know exactly what I'm talking about. To be honest, there's not really much going on in regards to myself. I'm gonna say that I'm here in Florida on the home front because I am literally here every single day. It is dealing with something that has to do with my mother's estate or I'm making sure something is filed. And I don't think that I've really had the proper time to grieve the loss of my mother. I feel like I'm just going through the motions because I really did not understand you guys that when someone passes away, of course I saw some of the things that my my mom had to go through when her parents passed away. I saw a little bit when my father's parents passed away, but not too much because he had a lot of siblings. So it wasn't really that much that he had to do, but I did not understand. Just like once someone passes away, it's like, go, 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 go. Make sure you have this I dotted. Make sure you have this T crossed. Otherwise they're going to be like, eh, you didn't file it in time. So I guess just F off. I mean, it is so crazy the amount of stuff that you actually have to do, have to file, have to make sure that you find. And trust me, older people, you guys, I'm just gonna say this, older people, they like to hide things around. My, I know for a fact that my grandfather was like this, like you would have a stack of papers that would just literally look like junk mail. But then if you go through it, you're gonna find like a deed to a house or you're gonna find like a life insurance policy over here. So it has really been kind of like a maze, like just going through everything at my mom's house and being like, okay, so we have to go through this stack. And my mom was one of those people she got this from her father, uh, never to just throw away mail. Don't throw away mail, it's all junk mail. Uh, don't throw it away. You can either burn it or you can shred it. And so it's been a lot of that because I'm trying to still do that for my mother because I know that's what she would have wanted if she was alive still. Because she did like going into her backyard and having like fires because she had a fire pit, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm trying. But a lot of this mail that my mother gets and still gets to this day are from those Christian organizations, you guys. And I wish that I would have thought of this before I actually started shredding it or like burning it in the fire pit, that kind of thing. I wish I would have taken a picture or I wish that I would have set it all to the side so you guys could see how much paper and postage is wasted by all these Christian organizations. And I'm not, I'm not knocking Christianity or anything, but I'm telling you guys no. And maybe some of y'all know as well out there if you're subscribed. It's uh, Joseph Prince is one of them. Um, the guy that was like, oh, COVID, <sighs> whatever his name is. I can't really think of it right now. They send out so much mail. And it's always those things like, oh, you send a dollar and we're going to send this back. Like, no, no, you're not. No, you're not. And don't think that you're just gonna shred that mail that came from those organizations because they put nickels and dimes in there, y'all. And so you put it into the shredder and all of a sudden your shredder is breaking and it's like every single piece of mail has a nickel or a dime. But hey, I'm looking at it like this, that is free money. Oh, the other person that my mother gets a ton of spam mail from is Joyce Meyer. I cannot tell you guys how many things of Joyce Meyer. And you know what's like so like interesting about all this? It's like how vain are y'all because every single envelope has a giant photo of either Joyce Meyer's face you have Joseph Prince over here with his blowout and then you oh Kenneth Copeland I think that Kenneth Copeland is the guy that tried to blow away COVID which is absolutely just ridiculous in my opinion but they send out a lot of mail and don't think that you're just going to shred it because I said they send dimes and nickels in there and Dustin has really been helpful when it comes to the mail because girl I can't go through all that I'm just like this is too much and I just wish that my mother would understand. And I'm kind of just, I'm like asking like around the house, like mom, well, you know, you understand if I just like throw this away because it's just junk mail, mom, no one's gonna get your information, all that kind of stuff. Cause that's what it was. It was don't throw your mail away if it still has your name on it. You can throw whatever the contents of it were away, but you want your name to be removed from it. And I don't know, maybe there's a lot of people out there that do that. Personally, I'm not someone that does that. If you're someone that does that, let me know down in the comment section because 
It's a lot if you don't stay on top of your mail and you just start to get all those stacks upon stacks upon stacks. Hell, maybe my mother was just trying to get stacks of mail because she really did enjoy those bonfires out back. I'm not exactly sure. That's really the only update I have in regards to anything going on with my mother. I do wanna do a video of like really cool, like old things that I found in her house. I wanna do a video as well, showing like pictures and all that because why the hell not? Let's like celebrate life. Let's celebrate like all of like the good memories and all of that because Oh, that's another thing that I wanted um, to talk about. As I've been cleaning out my mom's house and I've been going through photos, looking through them, and a few of them have really got me, you guys, because it'll be like a stack of photos. It'll be like happy memories, my mom with her friends, like taking pictures, looking happy, smiling, and then there'll be a dead person. <laughs> and I'm like... I don't know when that started um, because when I was growing up, whenever we would go to a funeral, I don't remember my mom ever like standing next to the casket and taking a picture with the dead person. I understand that a lot of people do that. Personally, for me, it is not a memory that I would like to hold on to. It's not a memory that I would like to have because when someone passes away, I want to remember them at their best. I want to remember them happy. I want to remember them laughing. I want to remember them just like smiling and all of that. So to have a photo of a deceased person in a casket while you're standing next to it smiling. Very, it's just, for me, it's creepy. If it's not creepy for you out there, okay, more power to you. But I really got messed up because I was going through a stack of photos um, of my mother and her friends and all that. And then there was a picture of my mother standing next to my grandmother's casket when it was open. And I don't, I don't know when that came on, uh, but that really like me up uh, for the rest of the night one night because I didn't go to my grandma's funeral. Um, I had a good long while to mourn my grandma's passing um, because we knew it was coming. Um, unlike with my mother, we knew that my grandma was going to go and it was only a matter of time. With my mom, I feel like I had that opportunity taken away from me and I don't, like to say that does sound selfish because I mean, I I kind of just want to like look at this as like maybe a blessing. Maybe my mom like later on in life, maybe she would have gotten cancer and maybe she would have gotten to a really bad car wreck or maybe she would have suffered from dementia or Alzheimer's or something like that. So maybe this was the way that she was just meant to go with COVID. So I'm trying to look at it like that. I'm trying to look at it, um, I don't know, silver lining or something. But the picture of my grandma like really... It just messed me up. Okay, I need to switch the focus of this video because later on this week, literally within a few days, I am getting my puppies back and I am so excited to see Birkin and Aspen. I have missed them so much and I have been receiving photos, all that kind of stuff. They are two little butterballs. They are going to be so happy. Um... I'm gonna be so happy. <laughs> Not only are they gonna be happy, I'm gonna be so happy to have them back. Because going through all this over the past month, month and a half, however long it's been, has been very difficult. Yes, of course, I have Dustin to love on, all of that kind of stuff, but I want my pooches. I miss my pooches, and you guys saw in the video that I did the other day on the viewer's voice, I showed you the Jonathan Adler bowls that I got them for their food. But we also picked this up. It's something that was on TikTok. It's from Costco. I believe you can get it at, maybe it was at Sam's Club. It was either Costco or Sam's Club, one of those. But it is this bed. It is a memory foam. First of all, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought that this was definitely going to be like the size for smaller dogs, but there it is. And it is so soft and nice. I have been hiding this from the cats. I know that Karma a few times has got her eye on it and I'm like, mm -mm, nope, that's for the pooches. You better not go near it. I just literally threw it onto the floor. She's probably going to come running over to get it, but I am so excited to get them back. I can't wait to actually start vlogging and showing them in Florida, all that kind of stuff, because <sighs> I really wanna get back to vlogging. I really wanna get back to like showing different things that we purchase. I wanna show different places that we go. I wanna start doing that again because I really was enjoying that before my life literally like stopped. Like everything halted for me. And, it, and honestly, honestly, I feel like this whole thing was a huge like wake up call. It really shifted my priorities. It really made me think about a lot of things and it made me question a lot of things. And it made me just, I, I don't have the same drive for certain things as I once did. So I'm kind of in a transition and it's kind of, it's exciting. Um, it's something that I definitely want to share with you guys, but I don't know. I just, it's been very difficult for me to sit down and get my mind off of what has been happening here in Florida. It's definitely been difficult some days for me to leave the house. As I said earlier in the video, I've been trying to take care of myself as best that I can. I mean, I'm dropping weight left and right. I'm at 193. So I think that I'm up a little bit 
than I was the other day, but I don't know. Maybe that's just a poo baby. I'm not exactly sure. I did go and I got the Moxie laser treatment, which is just resurfacing my skin. So you guys can probably see some like splotches and discoloration in here because it is starting to, they say it gives you like this bronzed look and that's just basically your old skin lifting up and a week from now I need to exfoliate it off. I have not been able to put a moisturizer on it because I don't have the right moisturizer with me, but I did wash my face today and it was with the Alicia Keys, uh, whatever the one she came out with, it's an Ulta, it's with Elf, all that. Um, I did use that and you just like pat it on because you can't rub your face right now because you could get hyperpigmentation, all that. But I did find this, I did find this earlier today. So this has definitely been a godsend because since I can't really put any other moisture on my face, why not put some ridiculous water on my face? <sighs> That is so refreshing. So yeah, that's really all that is going on with me. I know this video was all over the place, very rambly. Um, it's probably not gonna make sense as I'm like editing it back. Who knows if this video will even go up because last night I was sitting here trying to vlog as well. I went on a rant about Jaclyn Hill, you guys. <laughs> like, just a random rant about Jaclyn Hill and how now it's not gonna be so easy for her to hide her links over on Instagram because they got rid of the swipe up and now it's the bubble. And you know, Jaclyn Hill likes to put sponsored posts without saying hashtag ad as one is supposed to. Although I want someone could argue, and I have seen this down in the comment section before, that the magically and the reward style, which are these links that you can like earn money from, if someone clicks on the link that you have and they shop through it, then you can make money. Some people are like, those aren't sponsored posts, but then other people are like, no, they kind of technically are because she's still making money off of it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on that down below, actually, because now I'm curious. Do you think that she's not disclosing her ad by putting that link and it's a magically link, or do you think that she should put hashtag ad even though she's She's maybe not earning money directly from the company. Hmm. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below, you guys. I love you. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and all the support during this time. And if you're on the podcast, I am so sorry. I am so sorry that there has not been a podcast posted in a good long while. Um, we are getting our podcast equipment back. So the quality will be back. We are going to set something up. I don't know. We will get it figured out and we are going to do something special for you guys. So with all that said, I love you all. Have a good night or a good day, wherever you are. Bye.